हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू जीके टुडे टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज डॉक्टर मानसुख मांडविया रिलीज्ड नेशनल फैमिली हेल्थ सर्वे फाइव रिपोर्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो रिसेंटली यूनियन मिनिस्टर मानसुख मांडविया रिलीज्ड द डिटेल फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ द फिफ्थ राउंड ऑफ द नेशनल फैमिली हेल्थ सर्वे रिपोर्ट टू टू ट्वेंटी According to this report the total fertility rate in India has further declined from 2.2 to 2 at the national level between the NFHS survey 4 and 5 and currently there are only 5 state in which the TFR rate is above the replacement level these states are Bihar with TFR 2.98 Meghalaya with TFR 2.91 Uttar Pradesh with 2.35 and Jharkhand with 2.26 Now let me tell you that the TFR rate which we are discussing is an average number of children per woman Now in the next finding survey also shows that more than 3/4 that is 77% of children aged 12 to 23 months were fully immunized and compared to 60% which were in the NFHS survey 4 the level of stunting among the children under the age of 5 years has marginally declined from 38% to 36% in the country since the last 4 years and stunting is higher among children in rural areas as 37% than urban areas 30% in 2019 to 2021 let me tell you that stunting is the impaired growth and development that children experience from poor nutrition repeated infection and inadequate psychological stimulation it is also the result of chronic or recurrent undernutrition which usually associated with poverty poor material health and nutrition which causes frequent illness or inappropriate care in early life now if we move towards the other key highlights of the survey then it includes institutional birth having increased from 79% to 89% in india and in rural areas around 87 births in birth being delivered in institutions and the same in 94% in urban areas Additionally, National Family Health Survey 5 shows an overall improvement in sustainable development goal indicators in all the states and union territories of India. The extent to which married women usually participate in the three household decisions that is about health care for herself, making major household purchases and visit to her family or friends indicates that their participation in decision making is high and ranging from 80% in ladakh to 99% in nagaland and mizoram that is rural 77% and urban 81% differences are found to be marginal in this data and the prevalence of women having a bank or a saving account that they use has increased from 53% to 79% in the last 4 years now we will understand some important points about the national family health survey the national family health survey work has been conducted in around 6.37 lakh sample households from 707 districts as from march 2017 of the country from 28 states and 8 union territories which covers 7,24,150 women and 1,1839 men to provide disaggregate estimate up to district level. This national report also provides data by socio-economic and other background characteristics useful for policy formation and effective program implementation. The main objective of the successive rounds of this survey is to provide reliable and comparable data relating to health and family welfare and other emerging areas in India. Let me tell you that the National Family Health Survey 5 national report list progresses from National Family Health Survey 
to National Family Health Survey 5. The funding for different rounds of this survey has been provided by USAID, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, UNICEF, UNFPA and Government of India. So that is all about the report and if you like it then do comment below and let me know. Thank you.